Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Sister Moon Channel. I just want to thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and following. Um, I keep saying following. I just mean subscribing. There's no follow button. But um, make sure if you like my channel to keep um, subscribing and um, sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm just trying to connect with as many people as possible. And the more likes that I get, the sooner I'll do your reading for next month. So... Hope everyone's having a good um, February so far, and I'm just going to go right into the Taurus reading and see what's going on for you guys. I got the Five of Pentacles reversed. A lot of cards, but I'm going to take them because I like them. <laughs> so, um, I got the five of pentacles reversed but there's a six of pentacles an ace of cups and a seven of swords it's very interesting um i do feel like there was a person that left you guys that came back um with the five of pentacles there's um a return of a something that had actually made you feel very abandoned and left out in the cold but actually it's kind of turning into something very positive with the six of pentacles there's a lot of um give and take this time around reciprocity and i do feel like there was a love offering however i also feel like the seven of swords was is here so i want you guys to be careful that even though things are going really swell right now either there was a betrayal in the past that you guys already know about or there is a current betrayal with the seven of swords where they are or it could be you guys you know you could have they could have left you could have started something on the side or whatever and now you're with them and you feel like you don't want to let go of this other person but i do feel like there's someone in this situation that's trying to get away with something and it's like in this deck specifically with the snake so there is sort of some sneaky behavior going on although i do feel like there is also a very like a lot of equality and give and take in this situation yeah i do feel like there was a reconciliation now i don't know if this six of cups reconciliation is in regards to the now the person that you're with or that you had another reconciliation with someone from the past and this could even be someone that's like a childhood love or something so that also could be or they could be involved with a childhood love so that could be something that's really hard to let go of and the moon is here i love this card in this deck um so I feel like there are some secrets going on. Um, so be careful because whatever is done in the light of the moon and at night will be, will the light will shine on it at some point or another because that's just the way the truth is always set free. So if you guys are doing some shady behavior on the side, I would really you know come forward with it or you know if you suspect they are maybe try to talk to them about it some of you might be dealing with an aries there's the emperor here very loud and clear no reversed um so i feel like either you guys are trying to take a lot of ownership or they're trying to take a lot of ownership but i do feel like there is um there is a like someone who's taking responsibility for their past um regression i'm getting a really good feeling from this reading guys um high priestess is reversed so i get the feeling that if you guys do have an inclination that there is some like cheating going on or they have an inclination that the high priestess is being ignored and that someone's intuition is kind of being like stuffed down because you guys feel like eh, well you know what like we had our bad things in the past things are going really well i don't really want to like bring up anything negative but this thing with the high priestess reverse it's like this is your intuition like this is the truth this is what's a uh, messages that are coming to you and you guys might even be having dreams you might be having synchronicities you might be having um I want to say coincidences, which is the same thing as synchronicities, but like a lot of things that are happening that are like very on the path of like this is something that's really happening and you guys are ignoring it. So I just want you guys to be mindful that that is there for a reason and that you shouldn't ignore that. 
never, ever, ever ignore your intuition because that's like your guiding, like your guiding arrow, you know? Empress is here. Wow. Oh my God, guys. Okay. This is like, you guys are in a twin flame situation. I want you also to remember that if you are in a twin flame, flame situation, whether it's the person that you're with or the other person, this bond cannot be destroyed. It doesn't matter what anyone says. It doesn't matter what other, even what the situation is. If you're dating someone else, if they're dating someone else, this is a karmic bond that was tied together before even the concept of time that you and I can even fathom. And I feel like there's no need to worry or anxiety of losing this person because they were they like are literally like intrinsically like tied to you so if there's a fear of bringing something up that's gonna break this bond or whatever you're doing like with your twin flame on the side and you're like you you have to kind of honor this bond because it's not going anywhere it's kind of like it's kind of like it, an earthly realm like your family whether you love your mom and dad or your brother and sister like they're there they're not they're not they are connected to you through blood so i don't know why this message is coming very clear to me but um the chariot is reversed so i feel like some of you might be dealing with a cancer but i also feel like there's a part of you like i'm i don't get the emperor and empress very often in in a reading so um I feel though that you guys are giving up on this connection you want to give up because you just feel like in the past you've tried so hard and it hasn't it hasn't come to what you wanted it to be now I want to get more clarity because that chariot's reversed so I feel like you guys are tired and you're like but I'm getting so much positivity here too at the same time, this Ten of Pentacles. So what's up with this um, Chariot Reverse? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Just got a like whiff of bacon, it's so random, I don't know why. I don't know if some of you have a pig or what. I, I don't know. That was very odd. There's no one out here even eating food or not anywhere. Chariot's upright here. Some of you definitely dealing with the cancer, but... And a five of swords, so... That's what the message is here. This, in the past, this cancer and the situation with them was very geared by self-interest and, um... It was like a battle. It was like you against this person. And I feel like you're tired of fighting it. And you're tired of... <sighs> putting energy towards it. Page of Cups is here. Um, what's this Page of Cups about? Uh, well, I want to say Pisces. And then I want to say... A message between you and them but I also feel like to remember because the six of cups is here too to remember that tender like bond that you guys have that innocent that because I, I really think you guys are like either like childhood sweethearts or you have an innocent bond from like lifetimes before king of swords is here so it's reversed um i feel like there's been people that are communicating in a way that's really discouraging you from believing in that like heart center that you know and believe to be true and you know this person is your twin flame and there's people that are interfering and they're like coming from a very it, it seems like they're coming from a logical place, but they're actually not even coming from a logical place because King of Swords is not, is reversed. So they're coming from a very, actually very irrational place, but it's coming across as logical, if you know what I'm saying. So it's like they make you think, oh, you know what? I'm like living in fairy tale world here. Like Pisces creative, like, 
you know, whimsical, dreamy, like, I need to get my crap together, like, this, I need to listen to these King of Swords people, but they're actually not even King of Swords, they're just coming from an emotional place and kind of making it sound like it's rational, because they're making you feel like you're not rational, so, just listen to your intuition, that's all I'm saying, like, tap into this High Priestess, because you're right on the money, literally, and you have this at the forefront of your fingertips, so, believe in your own guiding system okay guys so that's the message i have for you thanks for tuning in i'll see you guys next month bye happy valentine's day too